Don't let your toddler drink mold. Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us on Around the Home. Uh, please take a moment and uh, click on that little ninja on the bottom right of your screen, subscribe to the channel, and check out my website link at the uh, top right of the screen. Okay, let's get back to these little cups. These little toddler uh, spill-free cups, they're awesome. Uh, you know, because they're gonna like save your car seats and stuff like that from being completely destroyed, your couches, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But a lot of times, the seals inside of them are places where mold loves to grow. Okay, and um, I really don't think there's any, any exception to that rule. So getting these things cleaned properly and dried properly before you put them back together is really important. Now this one here is one I picked up at Walmart the other day for my grandson who was four, and it's from the first years. It's a uh, you know Lightning McQueen cars themed car uh, little little sippy cup. And uh, this one here, you're probably wondering if you guys haven't seen these before, where they're like, where's the straw? Where's the, the little spout? And there's really not one. This one's interesting. It has a silicone seal all around the edge. Okay, so when they're drinking, all I have to do is put it up there and suck, and they'll, they'll just suck the liquid right past the seal. And it's actually a really well thought out cup. I thought it was really odd to begin with. Uh, when we first bought it, we thought, oh, okay, let's just try it out. And it's actually one of its favorite cups. So, anyways. The cup part is not where the mold is growing. This is very easy to clean out and dry. It's just a cup. There's nothing weird about that. It's, it's, it's back to the lid. Uh, now I just finished doing my uh, tumbler cup, how to clean that out so you don't get mold in that. And, the, and it's also with lid. If you guys want to check out that video, uh, top right of your screen, it'll link will pop up because a lot of people have mold in their lids and don't even know it on their tumblers. Doesn't matter if it's a Yeti or the Walmart one. It's all the same problem. Anyways, okay, so this big silicone ring, if you guys have this cup, just give it, just roll it back so you can get your fingers underneath it. And then just kind of, kind of flex it around the center and then just roll it. And it should pop right off. It comes off pretty good. And if you've never done that before, you might have a bunch of mold growing up underneath there or underneath the bottom side of this. Now, this cup here, I do use in the dishwasher to clean it. I put it in there use it in the dishwasher. I put it in the dishwasher to clean it. Okay. Um, but I take it apart first every time. I take this off, put this on the top rack, put this in the top rack. Uh, there is a little silicone O-ring right there, which I took off earlier to check it out. You can use a butter knife. Don't use anything sharp where you're going to cut it and pry that out and check it. And I checked mine. And this O-ring actually seals really tight, so there was nothing behind it. So I didn't have any moisture or mold or anything growing underneath there. So honestly, when I put this in the dishwasher, I just do this and this, throw it in there, and when it's completely dry, this is how you put it back together. It's pretty easy again. Just center it right over the back, over the top here, over the little center, and you're gonna wanna push, push one end in and just kinda roll your finger around like that. And it snaps right back in. Okay, clean, dry, mold-free. It's very important. So let's wrap this video up. If you guys didn't subscribe earlier, Please click on that link, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Another website link down below that. Additional videos to the other side of me. I hope this helps you out. And we don't definitely, you know, we're trying to take care of our toddlers. We don't want to be feeding them mold and mildew and stuff like that. So keep the little kids healthy. They get sick enough on their own. You guys have a great one. Thanks for watching.